So today I would like to talk about how I use um, Git rebasing to uh, make my pull requests only containing one commit uh, or at least making sure that uh, the Git history looks nice and clean and don't have like 30 commits with the uh, uh, changing one one line of code and all that and uh, I think the benefit of that is that if you want to revert something you have done then you you only have to revert one commit instead of uh, 30 different commits and uh, the way you can do that is um, to you can you can actually use uh, something called uh, fix up or squash and that different that are different options uh, that will solve this uh, but let's let's try it out because i've actually just made a very minor change in uh, in something i'm working on and uh, i'm just going to write something here blah 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 and uh, then i will commit this and uh, this commit doesn't look very nice and uh, I want to remove that and just make it appear in my first commit that I made uh, previously and the way I can do that is by writing git rebase and uh, this hit 2 which means that I will take the two latest commits I guess and then it will show me those commits in this uh, list here uh, and then I can press I think it's I have to press I on the keyboard it means insert and then I can go down to this one and then instead of uh, having it saying pick I have to write fix up which means it will actually move that change up to the previous commit so I can then press escape and then write colon wq uh, yeah like this and then I have to do git push force and this one is very important uh, yeah so now we have changed my um, brand to only containing one uh, one commit, and uh, I think we write git lock. And yeah, you can see here uh, that's my uh, brands at the top, and below that one is developed. So so now it only contains this single commit and in my opinion that's much more clean uh, instead of uh, having 30 commits and and also I use this uh, rebase I, I use rebasing instead of merging uh, when I want to get all the changes from develop and there it's also it is also important to use uh, uh, force push force uh, force push uh, instead of um, because I mean I usually use uh, source tree and when I do rebasing in here I actually use rebasing in uh, using source tree but then it actually shows that I have to uh, pull from develop and push and all that after I've done the rebasing and then it actually messes up the whole branch it's very important that you do use this uh, what was it called? Force push, push force, whatever it's called. Um, exit this one. Git push force, yeah, that's the one. So this is how you can make sure that you only have uh, relevant uh, commits. So the history of the work you're doing is much more clean and. Uh, yeah, as I said, if you want to revert something, it's much easier that uh, 
everything is inside one commit and uh, yeah you just get a much more nicer uh, git history in my opinion